Hey guys, it's Jack here from Design Moto. In this video, we'll give you a quick tour of the Pulsetic.com service, including how to set up notifications if your website goes down, how to build status pages with incidents, and how to embed the status badge on your website. Let's get into our account and examine all of our monitored websites. We can add one more to demonstrate how quickly we can begin monitoring the website. We add a website by typing in the address here and clicking the Add button. We'll use YouTube.com as an example. Now we must wait a few seconds for the Pulsetic to establish a connection with our website for the first time. The website's up and running and the SSL certificate is still valid. Let's see what data we have on our website. We'll go with the Design Moto website because it has some historical information. When you click on the title, you'll see some technical facts about your website's speed and connection in the overview page. You can examine specific information by region in the location page to discover which one works better. You may see some useful statistics about your website response time, size and headers by clicking here on the green button. Remember that you can activate and deactivate any region you wish and that you can only leave the zone where your company is located. All issues Pulsetic found on your website are listed in the failed checks page. You can use this information to prevent future outages. When you want to analyze the region's downtime and avoid losing clients on the mentioned region, the presented data is useful. The alerts page, which is one of the most crucial tabs, is the next step. Here you may set up the alerts you wish to get when your website is down. You can add a few email addresses to receive alerts directly to your inbox. Pulsetic's SMS and calls alerts are included in all paid plans. You can choose to receive both calls and texts or just calls and texts. Remember, if you enter your phone number here and the website goes down, Pulsetic will call you, even if you're currently sleeping. You can also add alerts to a Slack channel, Telegram channel or private chats, among other things. And if you want to create your own alert, you can use the webhook option. The next option is advanced settings, where you can change the frequency, timeout and delays of your alerts. The General Settings tab contains some basic settings of your monitored website. Requests and Response settings are the following tabs. If you don't know how to set them up, leave them alone. These settings are only for advanced developers who can set up API or cron job monitoring. The last tab is the Delete option, which allows you to delete your website from monitoring. Keep in mind that Pulsetic removes all data they have about your website. Let's look at how to create a status page now, so you can keep your users updated on the project's health. We'll choose the Design Modo status page from the option because it has the most detailed status page at the moment. A status page's general settings section offers some basic information about the page as well as a few configuration options. Your custom domain name or subdomain name, custom title and other important page options can all be found here. Here's how we left our settings. You can change them to suit your needs. You can see all of your websites here and add more to your status page. For example, we've added four monitors to our status page. The Incident tab is the next tab option on the status page. Here you can create incidents with your website and alert users about them. If your subscribers subscribe to the status page updates, these updates will be delivered to their emails. Let's look at some of our previous incidents. As you can see, you may add four distinct message statuses. Here's an example of a previous outage service with numerous updates as we keep our clients informed about what we're doing and how we're resolving issues. You can change the color of these status messages in the Customization tab. The Customization tab is the next step. You can customize the status page here to match your brand colors, logo, fonts and other elements. There are numerous ways to modify the page without using code. For example, we'll now add a logo to our status page. As you can see, we don't have one. Let's add one. Preview the page and you'll see the logo is there. The next step is to add a header image. Select the header and click the preview button. There it is. We can change the colors, for example. Here we'll change the status icons to green to see the difference more clearly. Done. The green colors are now present. As you can see, we have the ability to modify the font, weight and color of various areas of our page. 
Let's switch the color here on the state's color to green again to notice the difference. And here's the green. Based on our brand book, we'll restore the color back. State styles can also be modified. For example, let's change the style to rectangular, preview the changes and see what happens. Here are the changes. Let's have a look at our personalized status page once again. As you can see, it's extremely customized thanks to Pulsetic.com's no-code capabilities. The status page also provides information by region. Simply select the state symbol to see all of the regions for which the website is monitored. As previously stated, your subscribers can receive incident alerts. The subscribe form is positioned in the top right corner and is open to anyone who wishes to be updated. That's it. Now you know how to add a status page to your website and provide your visitors and clients with a transparent website and business. Let's look at how to make uptime status badges for your website. Have you ever seen this status badge on a website that you couldn't figure out how to make? We'll show you how to make this badge. We've set up an account here and we've set up a status page for this demo. After logging in, go to the left menu and select the status badge. As you can see, we've made a few badges. Let's take a look at the design modo badge. You may design and edit the badge style on the customization page. You can modify the style, colors, fonts, text, and more on this page. Our badge was designed so that we could show you how it looks on our website and what happens whenever we make a change in our Pulsetic.com account. So here's the badge on our website and you can see how it's styled. Return to Pulsetic.com and make a change such as changing the icon style and saving the badge. The new status badge can be found by refreshing the design modo page. Here it is. Let's go back and modify the font to see the difference. Refresh the badge and, yep, the font has been changed. On our entire website, we'll revert to the previous font. As you can see, making this type of badge is quite simple. All you have to do is copy the code and paste it onto your website. That's all for now. It's a quick tutorial, but you can learn more about the customizing choices available at pulsetic.com. Thank you for watching this video. I've been Jack from Design Modo. over and out.